Jay's here. How are you? I hope you all are well. You know, during this week, I was thinking about you more than ever. I felt so sorry for you. Cannot do much of what you wanted to do. I feel for you because you're young and I'm sure you want to do a lot of things. You want to pop and you want to run and you want to hang out with your friends and you want to dance and you want to scream and you want to jump, you want to shop, all the crazy things. That is what youngsters are about. Nothing wrong with that. But this pandemic really locked all of us up. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. One thing I'm so sure it will end in God's time. When it ends, and we go retreat, and we go mission trip, and we do lucky night, we go fishing, we celebrate our lives as we praise as loud as we can. Do you hear? I'm sure the life after COVID-19 will be much more precious and grateful because we've never been thankful. We've never been grateful for what we had. Now, we really miss our old days. We really miss gathering at the church. We really miss going to school. I'm sure it will be very precious. I'm sure our life will be different. And you agree? Until then, stay strong and safe. Do you hear? How many of you watch the Black Panthers? Yes, yes, yes. Superhero movie saves Wakanda in the world. Wakanda forever. The Chadwick Boseman, who played as a titular in Black Panther, died of cancer on August 28. People are mourning over his death. I didn't know much about him until two weeks ago. Chadwick was a person of faith from childhood who shared biblical wisdom along the path of his career. I didn't know he was a baptized Christian, and also he was a youth pastor. It really put my attention. Indeed, during 2018 Howard University commencement, Chadwick demonstrated a Christian life that included service, overcoming stereotypes, and a desire to depict strong characters. Let's watch together. First, giving honor to the Creator and my ancestors on whose shoulders I stand. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Graduating class, Hear me well on this day, when you had this day when you have reached the hilltop and you are deciding on, on next jobs, next steps, careers, further education, you would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When I dare to challenge the system that would relegate us to victims and stereotypes with no clear historical backgrounds, no hopes or talents, when I question that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me the path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. God will move someone that's holding you back away from a door and put someone there who will open it for you. If it's meant for you, I don't know what your future is, but if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, 
This is your time. <laughs> the light of new realization shines on you today. Howard's legacy is not wrapped up in the money that you will make, but the challenges that you choose to confront. As you commence to your past, press on with pride and press on with purpose. God bless you. I love you, Howard. Howard forever. He didn't tell any of his co-workers about he was battling with cancer, even during his filming of Black Panther. Despite of his treatment, he visited children's hospital to comfort the children who were battling with cancers frequently. He was caretaker, man of faith, dignity, and he shielded his collaborators from his suffering. Most of all, it really got me. He was grateful to God and believed God has a purpose for everyone, knowing that he was dying with cancer. Can you imagine? That is what today's scripture verse is about. Let's look at today's scripture verse, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Amen? God had planned for us. God had planned for you and me. God was speaking to Israelis who were captivity in Babylon through Jeremiah. Imagine what is the life of captivity like? Devastation, despair, hopeless, no freedom. All they think about going back to their home country. Top of that, God was telling the Israelis that they had to stay at the Babylon for 70 years. Let's look at verse 10. This is what the Lord says, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. What? Are you serious? I am sure it must sound like uh, we have to stay as this with this pandemic for another 70 years. Can you handle that? But don't get, don't get wrong. God's not done yet. He had a plan for the Israelis. He didn't want to harm them, but it was necessary for the Israelites to spend 70 years of captivity. Before they become the captivity, they didn't even pray. They didn't even listen to God. They were rebellious against God. But God had a plan. God's plan was to restore the Israel. God wanted to re reinstall the Israel. God wanted to give them a future and prosper, not pain and suffering. If you look at the verses 5 through 9, and God was telling the Israel, don't be anxious. It will take a long, settle down there. And pray for the country where you are, and don't fall for the false prophet. Yeah, that's right. This is what we have to do. Don't be anxious. Don't pack everything. And don't be anxious kind of when this pandemic will be over. And don't be discouraged. What you have to do, do your best for wherever you are and whatever you do right now. Do your best. And then second, pray for our countries and leaders so that our country should be uh, peaceful. Now with all the protests and all that, uh, that riots, we cannot be uh, uh, peaceful. That's why we have to pray for our countries and leaders. And also be a lot to yourself not to, not to fall for the false statement and uh, temptation. Look at all the fake news. They look at all the people they're talking about, uh, even the pastors they are preaching for the wrong things. Be careful. Although you cannot understand what's going on now, all you have to do is trust in God. He will guide you to the best way. He will lead us the way to prosper. Don't give up. God is not done yet. God is still shaping us and molding us. I don't know when is the God's time and what is the God's time, but He's with us all the way. During this pandemic, pray more to meet God. 
to hear His voice, God will listen to your prayer. If you seek for Him, He will be found. Amen? Amen indeed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us life, giving us loving family. Even though we don't understand many things for now, and we just heard you have planned for us as you had planned for Israelis. And those Israelis, as they were captivity, they must was discouraged and they had a lot of despair. But you restored them. You reinstalled them. Now, I believe in your plan. Let us totally, totally trust in your power. God, please come into our life and take your place and guide us to your way. Guide us to the prosper. Father, we want to be humble. Let us have the faith we can hold your hands so we can take step by step as we listen to your word. Now, I'm asking your abundant blessing in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit to every, every children of yours. All the medical steps who's taking care of patients with the sacrifice. All the political leaders, let them be true Christian leaders. All the missionaries, ministers spreading your word throughout the world. All the American soldiers fighting for peace and freedom throughout the countries. Bring them home safely. Amen.